Starting July 1st, South Korea will exempt fully vaccinated travelers from mandatory two-week quarantine. The new policy will apply only to select groups including citizens, foreign residents, those coming to visit family or to do business. Choi Won Jung fills us in on the procedure. Applications are flooding in from people who want COVID-19 quarantine exemptions so they can visit their loved ones in South Korea. More than 5,000 applications from those who are fully vaccinated have been submitted at consulates across the U.S. Monday, the first day, saw more than 1,000 applications in New York alone. There were 700 applications in Los Angeles, 600 in Chicago, 500 in San Francisco, and the number of applications continues to rise. To be eligible to apply for the exemption, people must be fully vaccinated with any of the seven COVID-19 vaccines that have received WHO's emergency approval. There are AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Moderna, Janssen, Sinopharm, Sinovac, and Covishield. The applications cannot be made until at least two weeks after vaccination, meaning if you complete your vaccination on July 1st, you can apply from July 16th. This policy will apply to Korean citizens or foreigners who come to see their spouses, parents or children, but doesn't cover those visiting their siblings or more distant family members. There are several documents that must be submitted by email as part of the process. The documents are the application for issuance of quarantine exemption, agreement for quarantine exemption and written pledge, which can all be downloaded from the consulate's websites. Along with three documents, people also need to provide a copy of their passport and proof of their family relations. It usually takes the consulate three days to issue a proof of family relations document, but officials suggest getting the certificate sent online through family members in South Korea could be a quicker method. These documents must be issued within 90 days. Most importantly, is a certificate of COVID-19 vaccination, which is required for everyone apart from those under six years old. Consulates might also ask for travelers' flight information. All travelers, including those with the exemption, will need at least three COVID tests. One 72 hours before departure, one on the day of arrival, and one seven days after arrival. If they don't get these tests, Korean nationals must self-quarantine for two weeks, and foreigners will not be allowed to enter the country. Cheonjong, Arirang News.